Hello everyone and welcome back to CHTI channel. Okay, so you guys know that this video is not going to be an art tutorial, but I hope this video will help you help you to explain some things when you uh, want to pen uh, do the painting in Medibank Pen Pro. Okay, uh, so you know that that uh, I had a video about this character. Okay, so. Um, this video was a speed pen video, so I will show you guys what I'm going to do and talk and explain uh, while doing this. First, I just will create a layer in here. This is layer one. I I will just want to create a quick sketch about the character and the pose that uh, she to doing, and because I want just want to paint the, the face, so it will focus to the face, and there's no background. After I painting, I, I drawing the the sketch like this. I will create another sketch based on the first sketch, and this is the uh, second sketch with you can see that is a more clean and uh, have a little bit detail easy for you to see and you can uh, pen with this next i create a new layer this is layer three here and just wait a little bit okay i use the select tool here you can choose the free select tool here and drop it draw around the character to pen the uh, gray color here uh, because I want to start from black and white uh, and I'll put the color later when I finish this one I will lower the opacity of this one a little bit around 50 percent yeah enough for me to see the skate and starting to painting at first I use the 8-bit color why do this because uh, I want to make sure that I'm not missing any color uh, to the character, just black and white. And why you choose the black and white? Now I turn this one off. Why you choose black and white? Uh, first, because the black and white will help you not be distracted by the color and you will focus to the value the, uh, of the character to see where is the bright uh, place and where the shadow up here uh, kind of like this yep and you can see with black and white you will be easy to fix in you and not have enough skill uh, and just start with it uh, that's all the things that my senpai on the pro before me they are talking you should you should do the black and white at first mm. and when you have a good taste in color you can jump into the color later okay then um you see that in this step here i create from i, I blending and painting a lot in here uh, with the flat brush here watercolor what and watercolor i have a lot of videos talking about the brushing here and why i'm using this one you can share it in my channel about blending tutorial okay and uh, i merge the skate layer uh, with the uh, the gray here and pen in one layer why because this one in my personal project so i not worry about fixing something because that's my personal stay that thing so if you uh, use this one for a um, professional project and you're working like in the commission i recommend that you guys must do it in separate layer or else uh, you can uh, use the the ways that you will self every step here and give it to the client that will help you reduce a lot of time when you're fixing a character um, to the another like somehow that you were changing a lot in the character and then at the end the, the client want to go back to the first version and you have a lot of self in here so you not worry about fixing something like this so that's why Okay, at this step, I think that I have blend enough for the face and I want to go in more detail but I'm scared of, uh, I'm making some mistake and I can't go back and do to uh, this day so I will duplicate layer and by simply click control or command with J okay and I will turn this one off 
from this time I'm not using the 8-bit layer anymore I'm going to use the color layer because somehow that I want to have the, the different color in here and you can easily just uh, move the color around this part that will help you to not uh, put more color in here okay so you can see that I duplicate a lot when I think that is okay and I want to solve it I will duplicate again and start to painting on it spend uh, painting on the, the on what layers in here I put a lot of um, things in here but I already merged it so maybe you can see it uh, that I create a new layer that for the eyelash below here and um, yeah for the, the below eyelash because I'm scared of making some mistake about it and it cannot erase so if you find out that something you're too scared to like you destroy your artwork and you cannot turn back you better put it in another layer and you can merge it later if you feel it okay and you satisfy with the result okay so that I just continue put more details with the black and white continue more detail here with your majesty uh, like this more detail you can see that I put a lot of detail on the hands in here simply by using watercolor brush in here and decrease the size just like I do right now that I will decrease the size to the smallest that I think that it should fit and then I will pick the dark color for the place where it's going to be shadow and going to draw the line like this patiently like this one because I want to have the, the I want the hairs look details now so for the lights the same pick the light color and do it drag it every single line that's what I'm doing not something really cool or uh, some tricks okay so that's it and I continue to another layer and you see that from this step to this step I'm uh, putting um, let me turn the skate off I'm putting the flower uh, uh, ring here on her head uh, okay at first I intend to draw the, the, the big flower uh, with a rose a lot in here but I'm not good at this so I will use some tricks in here that I use the ginkgo brush there you can download it from uh, Medibank Cloud ginkgo brush and I use dark color at first and then put more white color on and some dark in here some white in here that's it until I satisfy with the result and here will be the final I use the hue shadow rotation by simply click ctrl or command with you like this to change the shadow rotation and the brightness like this or I simply click ctrl or command with L to change the level of the character like this one or you can go to the filter in here and choose the level or hue to for hue and shadow rotation brightness okay and then I create a new layer you can see the blending mode here that's the overlay that uh, will be will help you to put the color here you can see that how it works I use the airbrush because it will have a soft look and not leaving the hard edge and then I pick the color and starting to paint here uh, like you will have a base color and some place here you will have a darker color I will show you guys what I'm doing that I simply click the color in here and now I want to change the color of the lips I will use the airbrush in here and draw around the lips You see that I'm changing the color of the leaf simply by drawing a pen like this because I already have all the value when I create the black and white version. This time I just simply uh, just feel the color for the character. And then 
Now is the step. The final step, but I love it so much that you will put some effect for your character here because you know that the pictures like this it kind of like to plan and there's nothing to impress uh, the, the viewer so that's why I want to have something like uh, okay I want to have something like there's a background or whatever there's some details in here so I create the photos okay and uh, I want uh, the character look deeper so I create a new layers in here and choose blending multiply and choose the color that I like dark around here gray use airbrush to drag around to make the character look deeper next I want something look shiny oh, okay uh, the background is the same here I will show you guys what I'm going to do uh, for the background that I um, simply go to the brush and choose the oh, where is it? I remember this kind of color like sakura. Okay, this one, this brush, Toto Sakura. Okay, and uh, because I paint it with black and white like this, then I will create a new layer. Choose clipping and choose blending overlay. To change the color of the petal for the front one because it will be in a separate layer, so that will be really easy. You, I will show you guys when the way that I'm doing like this, I will merge the color of the overlay and uh, the the petal here. Then I click the layer, have the petal, go to filter, choose Gaussian blur. That's it, and you now you will choose the value to let the correct uh, the the image that is going to be blurry. Depend you want uh, how it is blurry, you will pick that one and then click OK. That's it. Okay, uh, the picture still kind of like lost something impression, so that's why I create a new layer and choose that will be the add. For blending okay I pick a purple color kind of lighter and use airbrush to heal around that here pan slightly around here to create like the light appear and make something shiny like the eyes and maybe if you want you can make it shine for the mouth too like this yep And a little bit more multiply for deeper eyes here and that's it you are finished that's how I'm doing with black and white and turn it into colors hope this video will help you and the next one I will show you the way that I paint it slowly thank you for watching goodbye